Welcome to Grabbing with Cold Moo. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, God. On today's episode, we have a few different beers. Uh, no real relation, exactly. Except that they're mostly new. Let's start with Blounded from Red Hook. This is 5.6% ABV. It's an ABV we've learned well this evening. Mm, five, yes. six, yes. A lot mm -hmm. of low ones tonight, except for the double bastard, which was indeed a bastard. Not too cloudy. It's kind of looks like variety. my urine the day after drinking a bunch. I keep getting a whiff of something off, but that would be my taint. Cheers. Ah, I see. It's That's real nice. nice. Yeah, a great dry flavor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just a really, uh, I, I guess I, I would call it like a short bitterness. Like, it's not a lasting bitter, but it, it's a bitter that is, um, it's nice and it lasts just a couple seconds after the drink. Yeah, it, it's got a sharpness that I got from like their cross-check Pilsner that they had. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of that sharpness, but it's uh, I enjoy it. It's really smooth. Yeah, it's so silky, easy to drink. Good subtle flavors. It finishes well. I, I I wish they actually sold this in either six pack, like twelve packs, actually. Yeah. Because I would definitely go for a twelve pack of this on any given night. I'll give that uh, seven eight. I was gonna go with seven and a half. Seven eight. Yeah, seven and a half for me. I would say that this is like a really fantastic beer to enjoy with a simple salt, salty snack sort of thing, mm. like cashews or, or pretzels or something like that. And I would say you could drink it until you were in a lot of trouble. That gets a <laughs> nine. This beer is great. Really? Yeah. I love a lot of Red Hook stuff, especially their lighter beers. And for some reason, this one is hitting me at just the right note. Mm. Love. Our next beer, KCCO Black Lager from Resignation and Red Hook Breweries. Mm. There's yeah. a real nuttiness when it's in this mm -hmm. fucking glass. Yeah, mm. it smells even better than when we drank it the other day. Yeah. Let's try this. Mm. There was a, a seaweed beer that I got a while ago that we tried. You're thinking about Kelpie? Yeah. I'm thinking if Kelpie was done to perfection, that's what this would be. This is amazing. And it tastes just a hint of like, I don't want to say like seaweed, but just a hint of the sea plus a lot of smoky, earthy flavors. And it's, it's yeah. great. You know what I was going to say when we're smelling it? It reminds me of the seaweed wrap on fucking sushi. Like when you roast that seaweed, yeah. when you can smell it being roasted. Yeah. It's very the, similar. The nori or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. You know what's funny? There was a beer that we had just earlier today where I said, oh, there's like a taste of smoked oysters or some shit in here. <laughs> and it tasted gross. And now I kind of taste a little bit in this one and it's delicious. <laughs> it's amazingly good. It really sucks because it's like, oh, you're just a fucking chai fanboy. But it's like, no, that's really <laughs> a good fucking beer, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I've had a bunch of black lagers and I don't necessarily like most of them. No. But that one, they made it work. So, yeah. and it's super easy to drink. Okay. Yeah, kudos to those yeah, uh, motherfuckers. God, yeah, it. it's hard to score. I don't want to score too high, but yeah, it's up there at an eight. Uh, see, I was not just gonna be give it a seven, just to try to not be too generous. But yeah, like I want to give it an eight. You know, fuck it, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm giving it an eight too. Like I'm almost tempted to give it more. Disregard the fact that he's wearing a shirt from the same goddamn place, and yeah. we're not getting, we're not even getting paid for it. You're Sick. doing it wrong, Wero. We're supposed fucking, to get paid for this shit. Fucking sell out, and you didn't even <laughs> sell out. You're just a whore for free. Yeah. <laughs> Our final beer of the night: Twelve Man Go Hawks. Pale Ale. Go Hawks. Mm -hmm. Go Hawks. Um, we're we're filming this before the. <laughs> Final playoff game. We don't know the tr the turnout. This v this video is gonna get posted after that game. <laughs> I fucking hope we win. <laughs> Good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to film like two versions of this so we can like just play the the appropriate one. Uh -huh. But no, I, let's not be cheesy like that. Full disclosure, we have no fucking idea. Uh, Hawks win. Yeah, yeah we're Woo! putting our nuts on the chopping block. <laughs> Hawks are gonna win. Ah, uh, yeah. Russell K Wilson. KP, how do you like that sign-on? Mm-hmm. Mm. 
It smells like a pale ale. Like, actually, I really like pale ale. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he had this big thing and I just fucked it off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I'm not sure I like that. It's really watery for pale ale. Yeah. I oh, have, no, this is actually just all the pale ale that the 12th man has drank. And then <laughs> oh, that's where they get it. The 12th man at the urinal produces this into yeah. the trough. <laughs> no, um, I had a little bit of one of these earlier, and I was like, huh, this isn't quite as sour as Rainier ale, the green one, but it does have some, like, sour flavors to it. it. Yeah. It's, it's a Dick's beer. Oh. Every one of the Dick's beers have been terrible. Yeah. And, like, as much as I want to support the 12th man, <laughs> uh, oh, this is gross. <laughs> this makes me hope they lose. <laughs> <coughs> that being said, you could also, I mean, you can swig about seven of these down oh, without no. fucking giving a shit. Yeah, I, watch could, out. I would have a hard time doing that. Yeah. Just by flavor. I wouldn't say it's the worst. Like, um, no. after you get past the initial flavor, there's kind of a nice aftertaste to me. Um, but, you know, it's a strong aftertaste, and if you don't like exactly that, then it could ruin your afternoon. So I have to give it a five. Uh, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I would say so. It's like, it's it's middle of the road. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but if somebody had it, I would drink it. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, if I, if I went to, like, a fucking party tomorrow or something, and that's all they had, I'm not going to not drink a bunch of these. Yeah. It's like, at what point are you, like... Is that what you got? Uh, I gotta make a trip. Yeah, no, I mean, if that's all they had, I'd still drink a fucking shit ton of these, but it's just not a great beer. Do you know what other styles the other 12-man beer are? They're all pale ales. Why? This is Seattle. We're the king of the IPA. Like, if you made a real 12-man beer, it would be a fucking Imperial IPA, and it would be delicious. Yeah. Firstly, can I say... It would be loud with flavor. Yeah. When I go to the store... There is nothing but IPA. It's a wall of fucking IPA. I don't even like IPA, and I'm willing to be like, get it right. It's IPAs. Yeah. I was specifically looking for a Pilsner, and I found one. Just like they found the uh, the chive beer, it was just a single package, a four 16 ounce pack of Koenig uh, Pilsner. And it was just chilling on top of some other 12-pack. It's impossible to get a Pilsner in Washington State right now. Try it. <laughs> I dare you. You know, Red Hook doing his job in this video because the KCCO, Red Hook Brew, Blounded, Red Hook Brew, both very delicious, very eight-leveled for me, so... Yeah, Fucking Red Hook. <laughs> Red Hook. Fella. There's a reason we keep that there, and it's not because yeah. they paid us or anything. Like, we actually like their brews. All right, this has been Grubbin' with Colt Moo. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>